Hey everybody, welcome to TXGameHunters.com. On this video, we are going to show you how to set up the new ballistic calculator from ATN. It's, it's with the new firmware update, and do you have your firmware updated or not? That's the question. Click on your settings button. Go over to settings. All the way down at the bottom it says firmware version. You should be at 2.1.04.619.en. If you are not at this firmware version, you do not have the correct firmware to use the ballistic calculator. So we just posted a video on how to do a firmware update. Please watch that video so you can get to the latest version. If you are set at the version, you are good to go. So now, the first thing you have to do to get your ballistic calculator to work correctly is actually in this screen, in the settings screen. Scroll down to device type. We have the 5x20, so that's what it's selected to. You have to make sure your device, your device type is selected, otherwise it will not work correctly. Actually, it won't even turn on. The feature won't even turn on if you do not have the type selected. All right, so once that is set to go, we want to go to profiles zero. Go down to your current profile. And here's all the information for your profile. This profile is set up for my Hornady um, American Whitetail 223, the 60 grain interlock bullet uh, round. So how do you get all this information? Well, for one, most of the information is on the box of the ammunition itself. Uh, like the muzzle velocity, of course, the bullet weight you know is on the box. But the drag function and ballistic coefficient are not. So I just went to the Hornadies.com website. I looked up the button. I'm going to stick this in front of the camera and see if you can see it correctly. And it shows all the information. So the drag function is a G1. So that's what I set it at. The ballistic coefficient is 0.264, so if you select on that, it's 0.264. But on the actual screen, it rounds up to the, or it rounds to, it just shows the uh, two decimal point places. Bullet weight is 60 grains. Muzzle velocity, which is on the box itself, shows the 32, or sorry, 30, 90 feet per section per second and my rifle is zeroed in at 100 yards. Uh, and the sight height I measured from the from the rail to the middle of the sight which is 1.5 inches. This is all the information you need for the for the round itself for the ballistic calculation to work correctly. So once all this is set up and you're zeroed in, you're good to go here. Next thing you want to do is go back to the main menu and we're going to go to where it's the Wi-Fi here. You're going to scroll to where it shows Ballistic Calculator. You can press enter to turn it off. You see there's a line through it. Press it to turn it on. I'm going to have it on. Alright, the next thing you want to do is go to environment. Now here you're going to set your 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 weather information. The bottom three temperature, barometric pressure, and altitude are already the the X site itself has a built-in temperature gauge, pressure reader, and altitude. So that gives you all that information. So it shows your altitude and everything. Uh, you don't, so the only thing you have to put in is your relative humidity your wind speed and your wind direction. Now that's easy to put in because I have the weather app on my phone and in my uh, you, in your blinds you could have a little a little weather clock it's going to show all that information. Um, so wherever you're at you just the first thing you do is just set up the information. Your humi humidity won't I mean it will change but it shouldn't change too much throughout the day. Uh, your wind direction and wind speed could change uh, so just check your weather uh, forecast and just keep an eye on that for, for, for your wind. Uh, so that's all the information you need to set up here. So if you're good to go, you can exit out of that. Now you are 
good to go to use the ballistic calculator. If you look at the bottom of your screen, it gives you some numbers. It gives you where your reticle is automatically adjusting it. So it's automatically adjusting 0.68 inches, 0.33 inches uh, fall and drift to the left per, per my range finder and the wind speed. Uh, so it's good to go. Uh, we're going in the next part of this video. We're going to go out to the range and we're going to test this feature. But this is how to actually set it up and get it ready to go. Uh, the second half of this video will be live action. So stay tuned. We'll be at the range soon. All right, hey everybody, welcome back. We're at the range now. Uh, I have the rifle scope hooked up directly to the TV out here at the range. I'm trying to zoom in just so it's perfectly tight on the TV here. Uh, so we've got, we just showed you how to set up all the ballistics for the ballistic calculator. Once again, this is what we're using. Hornady American Whitetail, 60 grain. Here's the back of it, so. Uh, that's 100 yards right there. Then we got 50 and 25. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to shoot at 100. Make sure we're good to go because I've taken the scope off a couple times. Did factory reset. Manually put the, uh, well I didn't have to manually put the coordinates back in because they already saved. So we're just going to take a couple shots here and make sure that uh, we're still good to go. Let's put the uh, rounds in. Safety on first, zoom in, get the focus right. And zoom all the way into 20. Uh, play with the focus. Of course we don't want there, there we go. Uh, that's about good. All right, so let's take a shot. looks like I'm all the way over here so let me actually well uh, let me do one minor adjustment and I'll be right back all right so we're back uh, let me move this camera a little bit sorry this table at the shooting range is at my lease is pretty wobbly so uh, but we're zeroed in here now uh, pretty close within an inch or so uh, and with the wobbly table and stuff I'm good with that all right so Ballistic calculation. Make it back out of the zero because I'm good with that. Save and exit. Uh, profiles, current. Let's. We already set up the drag function. All this other information just earlier in the video, so we're good there. Let's go back to the menu and let's go to environment. All right, so. When I did the first part of the video, it was actually a few days ago, so the temperature is a little bit different now, as you see, because we're actually outside at the least. It's 87 degrees right now, although it feels a lot hotter than that. And you can actually see <laughs> on the, uh, in the scope the heat coming off the ground. So let me pull up my Weather Channel app here, see where we're at here locally. Uh, for our local weather, my signal isn't the greatest out here, but we should be pretty close. All right, so wind is null, so there's no wind, so we're gonna actually go down to the wind direct, the wind speed, change that to zero. All right, so uh, weather, we are good to go uh, with the weather for what we had there's zero wind speed humidity 60% so we just set all that up enter go over to where your Wi-Fi GPS all that that you can turn on and off go down to where it says ballistic calculation and you can hit enter to turn it on enter to turn it off uh, it is now on there's no line through it we're gonna go back over to the distance entry and I'm entering 301 feet which is a Approximately 100 yards. That's what we're sighted in at. I'm going to take one more shot here, and we're going to verify A 
shot down left. There we go. That first one must have been a pull. So I'm pretty. I'm gonna shoot one more for good measure. Shoot to the right. Man, my rifle is just not shooting today. Or it's just me. One of the two. All right. So one more. There we go. There's a good shot. It was me. All right, so we're dead center on that. <laughs> All right, so that's 100 yards. So let's go to 25, and we're going to take a shot still at the 100-yard mark. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, this is 25 yards. I'm just going to take a shot. So that's two shots at 25, quick shots. My 223s are pretty flat shooting around, so it shouldn't make too much difference. But I'm going to go over to distance. And we know there's three feet in a yard. So 25 yards would be 75 feet. So I'm going to go down to 75. And see how my reticle moved just a little bit? Now. There we go. Uh, this table sucks. It's so wobbly. I, I'm just barely moving right now, and you can see how everything's jiggling. All right, so it automat So for, it went from shooting, let's see, that's probably on this target, an inch and a half low to right where we need to be. Uh, now, let's try the 50 yard through the grass. Might help if I uh, put some ammo. Alright, so now we're going to go to 50 yards. And 50 times 3 is 150. So we're going to go to 150 feet. Change my reticle just a look, just a hair. So, as you can see, we're good at 50. And let's go back to 100. Which is back up to 300. Oh, let me do my focus so I can actually see here. The heat. You can see the heat in the camera. How it's distorting the on the digital. It's so hot out here. And we are good to go at 100 as well. So that's the ballistic calculation in a nutshell. Now, the bottom left part of the screen, right here, you can see how it says because of the altitude barometric pressure, all of that combined, even though I am zeroed in at 100 yards, that's it's still doing a slight, slight calculation at 301 feet uh, based on the pressure or altitude, how it affects the trajectory of the rifle round. Uh, so, and if there is wind, it would, it would show you even more. Let's, so let's test that back out. Let's go back down to 75. Which is the 25 yards and see how it's now it says up 56 so that's that's it, it's just automatically moving your reticle around 
based on the information you feed into the rifle scope. Now, if you notice what I just said, based on the information you feed into the rifle scope. So you have to make sure your information is correct. If you put the wrong ballistic information in, if you put the wrong distance in, it's of course it's not going to work. Uh, the range finding feature of this rifle scope, I am not a fan of uh, personally, but if you have figured out a way for yourself to be accurate and comfortable with it, it will. If you use the range finder, it will automatically adjust your your uh, distance versus you actually putting in the distance entry. But that is your ballistic calculator in a nutshell. Let's do one more shot just for the fun of it because we're here at the range. Why not shoot some? I'm happy with that. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it here in the comment section. Have a great day. We'll be doing more videos soon. This is Texas Game Hunters, TXGameHunters.com.